What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining why you should be investing in camera lenses first before you invest in an upgraded camera body. Now, the reason I'm recording this video is because when I first started out with my camera, I pretty much purchased my camera to record fitness content. I post fitness tips, tutorials, fitness vlogs, just everything fitness, right? So I wanted to buy a camera where I can capture high quality video. You know, just put things together. I like editing videos, editing workout videos for Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. And I really wanted high quality videos. So I ended up buying what I'm recording on now my Canon T7i because based on doing research I found that this was one of the better cameras for beginners you know on a budget and which today uh, I bought this camera two years ago today it's actually still one of the best cameras you know for a beginner on a budget so when I got my camera I bought the camera with the kit lens and a whole bunch of other accessories link in the description if you want to check out exactly what I bought and when I got it and I started to use it I definitely noticed off the back that um, you know the, the quality was very good but you know when you're looking at YouTube and you're seeing these other creators and pretty much the type of uh, videos and images that they're getting and they're putting out you know you I was really expecting like an overwhelming like amazing type of uh, you know look to the footage coming out of the camera and it kind of really didn't really meet my expectations I was like okay you know um, it looks good it looks better than a smartphone but it doesn't look significantly better than my smartphone so I just kind of just you know still just recorded you know it was good to just have a camera feel like I got a camera and I didn't really start educating myself on why that was until like months and months had passed. So when I first got the camera, the only lens that I had was the kit lens, which was the 18 to 55 millimeter STM. I believe it's like a 3.5 to 5.6 aperture. And pretty much, unbeknownst to me, that's pretty much why the quality wasn't as good because I'm recording in a gym and you know, sometimes there's low light, sometimes there wasn't, you know, the lighting situation was out of my control and to make matters worse, I didn't even film in manual. I did everything automatic because I didn't know what I was doing. So it wasn't until I purchased uh, this lens that I'm recording on now along with my 50 millimeter, it actually came and inside of a bundle, that the link is also in the description for that. Uh, my 10 to 18 and my Nifty 50, my 50 millimeter SCM, I bought those in a bundle. And uh, immediately I noticed that when I put on the 50 uh, millimeter, which is a 1.8 aperture, that the footage was extra crisp, buttery, and I finally saw the image that I thought I was going to see when I initially bought my camera. Now, this uh, camera that I'm recording, I'm sorry, the lens that I'm recording on now. Uh, is the 10 to 18, which you know it's very uh, wide angle lens. I'm at 10 millimeters right now, so that's why you know the majority of my scene is being shown because of that wide angle. And then that's when I kind of noticed what this lens was doing, and I kind of noticed what the 50 was doing, and I wanted to do my research like, why is it that you know this lens does that? and the 50 looks this good like what what is it about the lens that you know is making the footage look so good and then i even wanted to dive even deeper when i found out that the 50 millimeter was pretty much a full frame lens meaning that it can go on a full frame camera so i'm just like okay i know full frame cameras are supposed to be better than crop sensor cameras but this looks pretty good so if this camera can take this lens and it look good that automatically put a you know question in my head as to well is it even worth getting a full frame camera so after owning this camera for two years and doing research i pretty much learned that for that good quality footage that i was looking for when i first bought my camera i really had to buy a fast lens and by fast you're talking about a lower aperture that 1.8 you know that 2.8 around those ranges as far as aperture is concerned, it's going to give you that crisp image because the wider the aperture, which the lower the number is, the wider, the more light, you know what I'm saying, that the camera is uh, letting through, that the lens is letting through to the camera sensor. And um, also, too, those type of lenses typ uh, are typically better in lower lights. So to this day, I haven't really purchased any other lenses because, you know, I have been obsessed with 
buying another body, or buying another camera, you know, I need another camera. If I had the Sony a7 III, if I had the EOS R, my footage would look better. It took me a long time to realize that it's not about the camera, it's all about the lens. I'm a gearhead at heart, I would really love to buy a uh, new camera, but if I don't need one, you know, for what I'm trying to do, it's really no point of me spending that type of money if I, you know, don't have it to spend. And, and on that note, it's all about what are you trying to do with the camera. So you have to really sit and think what it is you want to do with your camera and what it is that you need. If you're doing a vlog, you know, invest in a wide angle lens like this one I have on my camera right now, a 10 to 18. Or if you want to go a prime with a, a lower aperture, which the footage is going to look better, go for like a prime 16 millimeter or something, depending on what camera um, system that you have. You just have to search for a wide angle lens. Any kit lens that you buy, like the lens that comes with the camera, it's not gonna be that good. It's gonna be a good starter lens. It's gonna have like a, a good focal range, you know, a mid-range focal range for you to do a lot of things. But the quality, unless you're like outside or like in the perfect lighting situation, don't get me wrong, you can do some work with it. It's usable, but it's not gonna be like that higher quality. You know, you wanna go at a minimum, at least at least for an F4 lens, um, you know, F4 aperture, and if you really want to get that quality footage, you want to go for 2.8 or 1.8, 1.4, the best being, you know, a 1.2, which there aren't a lot of 1.2s, but anyway so that's where i'm going to leave this video man go ahead and give it a like and drop a comment below what type of lenses do you all use what was your first camera what did you upgrade from from that first camera what lenses are you using today with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video peace out baby